What up? It's already part three of showing off these pictures from 2012. Now we move out of the United States from the southwest, uh, east of west kind of gallery that I did. And then the second gallery was the northwest and the west coast. And now we move to showing off uh, some Bolivia pictures from my two, almost three week trip to Bolivia. Okay, ready? I'm going to show some as I... Uh, talk about what's been going on. So, over on Facebook land, uh, it's stay tuned, I'm going to kind of review uh, this idea of going through the pictures and how I'm going to pick the very best of the best from these pictures being the best, or the best of. So we're going to find the very best of. And it isn't a pure popularity contest, but I am looking I'm taking input from people and how they a interact with. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can't just read the pure, you know, just read the numbers because sometimes there is three or four of the same picture and therefore uh, it kind of gets uh, filtered. Uh, you know, like uh, the, the votes get split between them. I mean, they really love the scene, um, but, um, you know, four pictures get a total of 50 together as opposed to the one next to it that gets 50 by itself you know so anyways I'll, I'll show you what I mean a little bit later this is my uh, trip to Bolivia I went with Roma Natalia Colby Brown and, and myself and we went for a couple weeks and I obviously took a lot of flamingo pictures so that's gonna be one big thing I think that in the very best of I wanna see a few flamingo pictures in there because that was one of my favorite things about Bolivia and um, I know that a lot of people come to see uh, landscapes but there's uh, obviously you saw a bunch of uh, portraits in here travel portraits not like paid portraits so that's why I put them in here as opposed to the best of portraits you know where I will just focus on paid portraits and um, actual like photo shoots so um, I'm just going through these slow. There are a hundred. However, I did do about seven or eight duplicates, uh, black and white versions, and uh, uniquely cropped versions. Okay? And uh, don't forget that those that make it to the very best of round will um, get more views. I'll talk about the pictures more and more as they make it to higher levels. So here we're starting off with five groupings, and one grouping is only has about 30. So there's almost 500 pictures, and then we'll jump down to around 100, 150, um, and um, yeah. And, and so as we go down it further, we'll continue to talk about that and and talk about um, how people reacted to different pictures. And we're going to in fact do that in just a moment after I go through these pictures start talking about the first two galleries that went up uh, yes you can still rate the first two so now you can rate uh, three galleries and if you're watching this further along then you can rate all five galleries so and you will follow the links to either the Facebook or the Google Plus galleries they're on my business pages as opposed to my main profiles my main profiles is how I typically interact but I didn't want to overwhelm the tons of people that are there I want, kind of wanted to make it a choice for those that I uh, really wanted to go in and edit those or look at those pictures this time around and then the rest everyone else can jump in when we get to the um, the very best of so yeah so some pretty cool stuff you saw a lot of a lot of llamas a lot of um, flamingos a lot of this mountain, we were there for a couple days, a lot of snow-capped peaks, we're up at 13, 14,000 feet, and we uh, we did get up, or, uh, we did do a lot of sunset and late night stuff like this, and um, some star shots as well, here and here with the Milky Way, so, um, you know, this is where you would you would say, hey, I really like it without that distracting water on the b bottom, or I really do like the water. This is just kind of me. This is this is me testing out to see what people think of different pictures. This is educational for me, and so hopefully for you as well, going through the pictures and, and seeing what people 
think about certain pictures. I like this, but does it really compete against all these other pictures? Do the portraits um, do they you know inspire you as much? Um, dilute was the word I was looking for earlier. And so when I have two pictures like this, I just really like them both a ton. And obviously one of these two is probably going to make it to the very best of because I want to see a couple portraits in there. But which one? And so the votes may not be as high as some of the other pictures, but it is going to be, um, you know, I'm taking into account what people vote, but not pure um, uh, democracy. And that's a part of me as a photographer learning to read and get input from other people and um, and make solid decisions by myself and, and trust myself not just by myself because obviously I'm involving you guys but and um, and some I you know I understand right away I probably could have took them out of the gallery but I kind of wanted to have a hundred in there I know some of them won't make it to the next round and I could have told you that to begin with but there's always that shot that there was something I was overlooking. I may have just gotten rid of it right away, going, no, it's never going to make it to the next round. But I can be surprised by a few of these things. Overwhelming response and go, oh, okay, I guess, yeah, for sure. And uh, and that's what I am looking for. And, okay, so this is, um, you know, and, and I'm kind of trying to see what the aesthetics of it all tell people, and then I'll tell you stories about why this is red. Um, and I'm assuming one of them will make it, so don't worry about that, you know. And uh, and then that emotional connection, we'll see what how that int affects the pictures. And then, you know, they're flamingos, they're meant to be uh, pink and stuff like that, but, man, what about having it black and white? Just one over the other or do they both deserve it? I really need some input on these types of things, okay? So let's uh, move over here to uh, Facebook and we'll go first to the Utah pictures. And I have this link here, so go ahead and join with me here. And um, let's just kind of read some of the numbers. The first number is 45, 45 likes on this picture. And they've looked through 100 pictures, so that's kind of diluted. Uh, people were probably only choosing 10, 20, maybe 30, uh, maybe more. And that's totally fine. I suppose at least 30 or 40 are going to make it from this album. Um, and, and so that's the first picture, though. So there, it's not really that this one was, you know, 10 times better than other ones that only got four it just means that people uh, go a little more click crazy at the beginning and then they go okay there's a lot of pictures I got to calm down a little bit so you kind of have to compare them to other ones around it and, and so I will have them ranked and um, and I will look at the numbers here so like this one has 11 compared to the ones around it I have uh, 38 and 30, 39, but, some, but it has more than some of these others. And so it's pretty interesting to see this coyote one get 20, a uh, wildlife's ones, are, you know, where the thought everyone has that these are all landscapes. And then you have a picture quite a ways down that has 59, but then you have to look at the fact that it's probably been reshared quite a few times, and those reshares have led it to have a lot more pictures. And this is what I'm talking about with diluting. This is all capital reef from here all the way down to here. That's one, eight, nine, ten, eleven pictures from capital reef. And and none of them have all that many likes. And I do not believe it was because they were that much bad, worse than the other pictures. But it's because it's it's you're comparing them. That's why I did these preliminary rounds to help me find the best of certain ones. So I'm going to do some analyzing and uh, see which ones from this. And this is one of my favorite spots on Earth. So of course some of these are going to make it and may beat out ones with lots more likes. And um, and so there's some that I just threw in there for trial, three likes. And and I was going to see if any of these this nearby mountain where I live. And you know one of them looks like it's doing pretty well. Okay, and then I did a bunch of the wave, and the most famous popular picture that I've had that's been reshared hundreds and hundreds of times, I put it up with three other night shots, 
and the one that was first in the series got the most. So is it really the best or um, or is it just because it was first in the series? Now that's the interesting question and I'm going to when I post up the next both of these are going to make it to the next round. It hasn't been really decided yet. Um, and, and that's what we are doing and I'm figuring out you know what people really like and because you know I want to sell prints and I'm not selling prints to myself so let's figure out what other people would be interested in okay we got a lot of fall stuff and um, I threw this one out here just to see I, I had no idea I'm actually I don't really even like this picture that much but I wanted to throw in some. You gotta kind of have to throw in some. You, you gotta see if people aren't just BSing you. Just if they're not just going click crazy. They're not just, you know, making you feel great. You throw in a couple in there that are just like meh, and and I got zero. So at least I'm I know a little bit about that. But we are further down into the into the gallery where a lot of these pictures aren't getting very many likes. Zero, one, two, two, two. And so, um, and, I, and I understand that these aren't bad pictures. I'm not going to read that into it. I'm just going to recognize that compared to the others, they are not as good. Okay. And so we will see, and and so we probably won't we won't see them the next time around. Okay. And so, and, and this wasn't even a real photo shoot, and these pictures are are, are doing okay. I mean, I was just happened to be there with some other friends and took a couple of pictures as I walked around. Uh, if you can see my cursor where I'm going, and um, uh, the glacier glacier stuff. So, uh, you know, if you're watching this, I would go towards the end of the gallery. I've kind of got a lot of data to go through at the beginning. So, if you want to start from the end and hit the left button and and help me out with some of the end stuff. That would be great. So, because um, I need some more input. Are these really uh, not as good? Did I get worse towards the end of the year, <laughs> or is it because uh, people just didn't get to them? And so I'm going to have to make some uh, hard decisions. Hopefully, based on a little bit more input. And um, yeah, so that's that one and then don't forget the west coast ones um, they're newer and as you can see this one was probably reshared a lot to get 61 views or actually why it was there is because it was the cover photo it's the fourth one in the album but I made it the cover photo for showing it off on my uh, on Jarvi digital fan page and on my personal page so if that happens then a lot of people will go to that one first so it was the first one for them, and um, and I've got some beach ones, and, and you'll see that black and whites don't really do as well. But I keep on throwing one in just to see, and this one got zero compared to its counterpart in color. That I got twelve. So people are really making the statement, this one's much better, Scott, much much better. And I'm just just I would have I would have picked the color one too. It's not that I don't know these things, but I, you know, I'm getting input from people, and that's important. So yeah, um, again, you probably go towards the end of the gallery and um, help out with some of that stuff. I did make a specific call to people to help out with the with the Crater Lake stuff. There's seven of them, and so you know, I'm looking for one or two to get to the next level. And this one has substantially more uh, likes, but I kind of made it a little more difficult for me because it has more likes because I shared this picture. And so people went to this picture and said, yeah, yeah, I, I like that one that you shared. That was the one that originally drawn my, you know, so is that the best one or not? And I'm going to have to make some decisions on my own. And if you'd like to comment in there and tell me why which ones should make it one or two of them that'd be helpful in different sets that'd be great here's the San Francisco skyline set you know there's two of them the great uh, of the great of the Golden Gate Bridge um, people love stars with stars but is this picture really good enough I actually don't know I think they're just attracted to the stars and the scene is just kind of okay 
the stars are cool but let me know and uh, then some Vancouver stuff uh, and um, you know it, it, any of these they, none of them may make it to the next round and then I have a, one of my personal favorites isn't getting a lot of likes so you may even see um, and it's a personal favorite maybe because of the story so that's that's great why I'm putting these up to see how they aesthetically appeal to people because I am connected to a story and that's great I can like it I may put them up on my wall what you like doesn't determine what I'm going to put on my walls or what I'm going to internally be very proud about I'm very proud about this image uh, but I understand that there's other things that may be more pleasing. This was just a lot, much more difficult shot to do. That took a lot of time. That took to help uh, my nephews to help me. You know, it was a great experience and stuff, and it, it signified a lot of growth. But I understand if it's not, um, you know, the very best of material. Okay. And so uh, that's a look through, and hopefully that gives you a lot of information as to why I'm doing this best of. And you get to check out these Bolivia pictures as well. Hope you enjoy them. Uh, love to know, uh, especially on these similar ones. I can't decide on this one. I need your help, that type of thing. Uh, this was the moon rising behind the mountain. And, and all these stories and more, <laughs> and more are all yours for low low price of just favorite the pictures subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna do these things every once in a while when I am at home you will get things like this and tutorial and like how to's on the computer and and you know reviews of longer video shoots and when I'm out on the field I'm recording like crazy location reviews interviews with people what I'm doing how I'm taking these pictures it's the life of a photographer this isn't a pure educational show it's uh, just to kind of give you a full-on view of a life of a photographer that does lots of lots of different types of things known for I do mainly weddings, so hopefully you checked out that video that I put up yesterday on Valentine's of my uh, my favorite couple shots from 2012. Put to some beautiful love music, love song. Okay, well that's me for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm signing out.